Welcome everyone to Harvest Moon DS, a game that is out for the Try and Guess. Try and Guess. That's right, if you guessed Nintendo GameCube, you're right. I'm just kidding. It's actually for the DS. Shocking, right? Oh my god, it says clearly on the name. Anyway, yeah, this is Harvest Moon DS. Um, it is actually the uh, very first game in the Harvest Moon series to come out for the Nintendo DS. There's actually a lot of games in the Harvest Moon series to come out for the DS, including Harvest Moon DS, Harvest Moon DS Cute, Harvest Moon Island of Happiness, Harvest Moon Sunshine Islands, Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar, Harvest Moon A Tale of Two Towns, Harvest Moon... or Puzzle the Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon Frantic Farming... And I probably missed one, I don't even know. There's a lot, there's a shitload. And um, I haven't actually played any in terms of an LP. Uh, that are on the DS. I've played a bunch of other ones like Wonderful Live 64, Save the Homeland, Friends of Mineral Town, Magical Melody, Tree of Tranquility, Animal Parade, Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns. I played a little bit of Sky Tree Village for this for the 3DS. And I think another one. Oh, Back to Nature? I don't know if I said that. And Harvest Moon Game Boy as well. Okay, the point is I played a shitload. Alright, let's go ahead and do a new game. Welcome! Welcome to Harvest Moon! First, what is your name? Hmm. My name is... Oh wait, dude, I can't move, dude. I have to use a stylus. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the freaking stylus. It's, you know, on my 3DS. Yeah, I'm playing this on the 3DS, actually. Because, as you know, the 3DS is backwards compatible for the Nintendo DS. I'm gonna go with Shiny. Delta Shiny Zeta. I always go by Shiny, as you already know. Next. When is your... Oh, you fucking bitch, dude. I already just... I just put my stylus away, man. Okay. Um, it is in winter. The 20th. Okay. Yes. Alright. Okay, any more stuff before I put the stylus away? Okay, thank god I didn't put it away. Um, I have a little tradition in my Harvest Moon LPs, as you already know. I actually call my farm Matter Farms always. I know a lot of you already know the reference, but if you're actually new watching this, try and guess the reference. Watch somebody who already knows the reference that mentioned it in other LPs is gonna mention it right now in the comments probably. Like, oh, it's a reference to this. Yes, the question is, what is the Matter Farm a reference to? My dog's name? My dog's name is... I'm just going to think of a random stupid name. Sorry if your name is Chester. I wasn't saying that it's stupid. I was just saying a random freaking... What? No, wait. What, what the hell? Dude. Wait, what did I press? Why can't I... Wait, I'm so confused right now. What did I press? Dude, I can't... Chess? Do, can you only have four? Hold on. Oh my god, I think you can. What the- what kind of limitation is this? Okay, I'm gonna call you... No, dude- oh my god, are you serious right now? Dude, this thing is so- oh, is, is this not calibrator right? I don't think my DS is calibrator right. I'm gonna call you Rick. Kind of a random, just generic name there, but okay. What is your... Oh my god, dude. Okay, I'm gonna call you... Holly. Yes, okay. Alright. I'm all done with that. I can put the stylus away for now. Also, you can't really say that about Island of Happiness. Because that game requires you to move... By dragging on the screen with your stylus, which I find so stupid. If I ever LP that game... Oh my god, I'm just- I'm gonna hate my life while I'm LPing that game, man. Like, what kind of game forces you to move? Like, what kind of 3DS game- oh my god, sorry, 3D- 3D game for the DS. I mean, it's not 3D, it's more like 2.5D, but you know what I mean. It's just- it's so freaking weird, man. Anyway, here's Witch Princess being all pissed off, you know? Okay, you want to cast a spell on her? Oh my god, are they? The amazing Harvest Brights? Dude, honestly, I hate the Harvest Brights and Harvest Moon. I really hate them. Um, they're annoying. Like, in every freaking Harvest Moon game, they're just... Man. Like, I'm sorry if you're a fan of the Harvest Brights, you know? But, like... Jesus. Okay, I'm actually glad that she did that. Actually, no, I'm not. Because I was going to say, because that's going to make the Harvest Sprite sad and pissed off. But then again, you're hurting the Harvest Goddess, and I like the Harvest Goddess. I really do. 
What did you just do? Witch? Of course. Of course. Why the hell not, right? What did you do to the- Okay, why are you wearing some cool-ass sunglasses? You're Harvest Sprite, okay? You're not supposed to be cool. You're supposed to be annoying. Although, some people would argue that there's a correlation between those two, being cool and annoying, but... Um, yeah. Like, some people get so annoyed by people who try to act cool. You know? I'm not really one of those. Well, I mean, I guess overdoing it, obviously, but like somebody who's just trying to act cool normally, I'm like, I mean, whatever, I mean, I'm not going to acknowledge them and be like, oh man, you're so awesome, you're so cool, no, but I'm not going to get annoyed, I'm just like, whatever, screw that person, I'm just going to move over here, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Your name is Paige? You look like a guy. That Harvest Price looks like a guy, man. But then again, who knows what the actual Harvest Sprite of... Sorry, what the actual gender of Harvest Sprites is. I always assumed they were all guys. But that's actually wrong, maybe. I'm probably very wrong about that. Anyway, who's excited for a new LP here? I'm actually doing two new LPs. I started White 2 a few days ago. And now I'm doing this one. Because honestly, <clears throat> like the last... Uh, oh my god, I'm in my throat. Jesus. The last few weeks, the last month or so... I really haven't been uploading as much, and hopefully I can fix and remedy that a little bit, but I don't really know. I don't know. Um, because the last month or so was really only me uploading Ultra Moon. That was pretty much it, with a couple of random Summoner's War videos here and there, and a couple of random World of Magic videos, but that was about it. The main LP that was Ultra Moon, the thing is, I uploaded it so slow. Like, the pace was like once every three days or so, that it, it took literally like two months, no, like two and a half months to complete. And that was 50 episodes. Usually, if I upload twice a day, that 50 episode LP would take me 25 days to complete, which is less than a month. But that Ultra Moon LP took like two and a half months. That's insane. Now, I'm assuming Black, or sorry, White 2 is going to be um, shorter in length. And even if I'm able to, like, <clears throat> you know, get them edited and upload the videos daily. It shouldn't be taking like a little, like more than over a month. I would probably say a month tops to finish that LP. Harvest Moon DS though, 200% this game, um, it actually, it's a lot. Because uh, there's a lot of Harvest Sprites. A lot of different annoying quests you have to do for these Harvest Sprites, which are so time consuming. I'm just going to be honest with you. 100%ing this game is going to be extremely difficult and I probably will not be doing it because there's going to be some things that I'm just going to get so pissed off at. Uh, but I am going to try to, like, <clears throat> show as much as I can about the game as possible, doing as much as I can. Um, so yeah, just letting you know, you know? Okay, so, and sorry if I haven't been, like, I mean, I have been paying attention to the dialogue and the story, don't get me wrong. I just haven't really been saying it. I mean, for the most part, in recent LPs, I actually kind of stopped reading dialogue because people said that unless and this applies to any youtuber in general unless you're a fantastic voice actor and you can make different voices on the spot you probably shouldn't be reading the dialogue instead of just reacting to it and maybe skimming a couple things here and there but not really reading it because <clears throat> it kind of defeats the purpose um because you're not really adding flavor or character or like a personality to the character if you don't really voice act well so instead you're kind of just making them all generic, and that's not really the point of experiencing a game, whether it's watching it or playing it, you know? And I will be the first to admit that I am not really a great voice actor. I can make different voices, like I can make a really stupid one, and another really stupid one. <clears throat> I actually was at one point like, close to talking with like chipmunk, chipmunk style, but it's hard. Because not only do you have to talk high pitch, like if I were to talk high pitch, this is, this is my normal. And then if I were to talk even higher pitch, and even higher pitch, and even higher pitch. Okay, that's, that's, no, by that point my voice just died right there. Did you see that? It didn't even sound right anymore by that point. Um, no, but there was one point in my life like two years ago where I was actually like practicing <clears throat> to make different voices. And one of the things that I actually, um, like, was experimenting with was making a higher pitch noise that also sounded like really funny and stupid and it kind of resembled a chipmunk noise the thing is that's long forgotten because that was two years ago and i kind of stopped practicing so i probably forgot how to do it 
but I could still make lower ones and <clears throat> scarier ones. And people told me that I could make like a pretty decent Batman voice at one point. Where's Rachel? <laughs> that one's not good, actually. That stupid where's Rachel thing, man. <laughs> That's, that gets me every time. Oh my god. Yeah, he's always like, where's Rachel? And it just sounds so funny. Anyway, as you can see, I'm getting introduced to all these Harvest Sprites here. Yes, I know. And I basically need to find the damn Harvest Sprites. Eighth channel. Oh my god, man, this afro hair, though. This afro hair. Also, this is a very long intro cutscene, is it not? This recording is up to 11 minutes already. Holy shit, dude. Like, what? I guess so. So only two harvest sprites, apparently. Oh my god, you witch, can you please get the hell out of here? <laughs> what the hell was that? That was like when you're fighting an Elite Four member in Pokemon. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Okay. I can look at tomorrow's weather. Sure, I'll look one today, or twice, or three times. If you don't hurry, the game won't move ahead. <laughs> oh my god, I love this witch. Oh my god. See, I love flavor text. Like, I love it when, when people in games, when they obviously break the wall. That's so funny. That's just so funny to me in, in any game, not just this one. Okay, do I get some control now? Oh my fucking god, I still don't get control. Seriously? I want to play, thank you, okay. Alright, so let's see. The game actually controls very similarly to Friends of Mineral Town. I mean, this is basically the game, the handheld game that came out after Friends of Mineral Town. I think it actually is. In terms of handheld Harvest Moon games, that should be the order. I mean, obviously not counting more Friends of Mineral Town because that game came after, but they're like the same game, just different genders. And yeah, like I mentioned, in the beginning, uh, there is a game called Harvest Moon DS Cute. It's literally the same game, except you're, you're a girl. And that's it. That's the only difference. Alright, so um, I get to move around like this, as you can already see. I get to run by holding the B button. A is to pick up. X is nothing. Y is nothing. Basically, you can't access your menus. Like, there's no menu... Um, like, there's no button to open up a menu because your menu is always on the bottom screen by default, which means that your menu has to be controlled by touching it on the screen. Which can be annoying, of course, but eh, whatever. I know, go away. As much as I want to say this, this is an LP, but... Okay. 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 You should have gone with scissors, you're so annoyed. You're basically saying that you actually don't really want to ship things, which means that you are... You're miserable. And that, in turn, reflects on... To me, and now I feel miserable, okay? So, you should actually be more positive, Mayor. You need to be more positive. Okay. <laughs> See, I love how it just references the other games. It's pretty freaking funny. You missed. Dude, my guy's... My guy's so pissed off at this guy. The power of the mayor. Oh my god, what is this, a fighting game now? I thought this was a farm simulator, dude. Um... Don't help. Screw this guy. Screw this mayor. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> this game, people. This game. Honest to god, like... 
Okay, the game is not fantastic. People haven't said that. Like, they don't say anything great about, like, that this game is great. It's not bad, but it's not great either. But there are some really clever things like this. It's like you're playing the game for the first 15 minutes, and just by choosing one damn option, you get this. Like, you literally get this screen at you, and it's like, well, the game is over. <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> oh my god, man. Freaking, freaking stupid game. Like, I'm not bashing at the game. I actually think that's very clever. The thing that I don't remember, though, is if you have to... Because I didn't... That doesn't actually save your game? Let me see. Wait. Mm, no. No. Wait, how do I go back? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, if you actually press that... That's pretty funny. That's actually pretty cool. But yeah, okay, I didn't want to show that off. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is do a cut. See, that's not spring day and I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do a cut and I'll meet you back at that spot again. Okay, so this time let's actually go out and put help to see what happens. Yeah, so basically you just help the mayor. I'm assuming if you put don't help, the, the dog eats him to pieces, the game becomes rated R, you see a bunch of flesh and bones, and that's why the game's over. Because, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I haven't mentioned something about this game, but you might actually already know. Um, a lot of people don't actually know this, because the game A Wonderful Life is very unique. People don't really think that that world came back to any other game. They really don't think so. I'm here to say that yes it did. There is actually one game out there. Well, two games if you count DSQ again as well. Um, there is one game that shares the same world as A Wonderful Life. The answer is Harvest Moon DS. That is right. It is in fact this game. It is this game. Okay, what the... Wait, how do I... Okay, I put that back in there. Uh, let me see here. Let me... Okay, not that. I'm just trying to check out my buttons here. Okay, okay that's a pause. Um, uh, let me go here. Bag. Alright, so, uh, if you look at bag... Ball, a toy for dogs. Okay, so... Yeah, um, uh, basically this, uh... This place here... This game... Has the same world... It's Forget-Me-Not Valley, essentially. Except, okay, where do I... Okay, there's some water right there. I guess I'll go ahead and plant here, then. What I'm gonna do is... Okay, how do I... See, it does help to have a stylus here, of course. But wait, how do... Oh, okay, so it's there. Yeah, so that's red. Red is tools. You use your tool by pressing this button. You're pressing Y. That. Do that. You can then just simply choose another one. Put dragon it there. Over here. Whoops. Chop. And you get a lumber. You can then put it away. See? That's simple. I mean, it's basics, essentially. It's pretty much basics. You can also just chop like one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Oh, you can't? Oh shit, I thought you could. Never mind. Never mind. I'm wrong about that. You can do that. Let's go ahead and show off the hammer a little bit here, you know? You can do that for stones. Do that and you get a stone. It's funny because in the older Harvest Moon games, there was like never a stone material. You know, you just smash a stone and that's it. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and use the hoe. Um, let's do that. Again, always look at the bottom screen. Which is a smaller screen on the, on the video right now. That right there indicates the uh, tool that I'm switching to. And there will be times, of course, when I'm going to be switching back and forth. And so it helps to look at both screens as best as you can. So yeah, I'm going to start by planting these crops that I actually got. Even though this uh, world is pretty much the same as A Wonderful Life, the game is nowhere near as realistic as A Wonderful Life. So you still plant in sets of nine, as you can see. You know what? I'm actually very tired. Um, what I'm gonna do maybe because I shouldn't have. Oh, I mean, I was experimenting with all those different things. Oh, I need to fill this up. And I wanted to show them off for the sake of the LP, but I should have probably not wasted all that stamina so early, and I should have used it more so on just uh, planting these crops here. You know? Yeah. See, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. Maybe I could eat something over there in the valley. Hello, dog. Why are you running? Get over here, dog. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and explore now. Like I said, this place is essentially Forget Me Not Valley. Just watch it. Just watch how it looks. Okay, does this place look familiar? Probably not, right? Okay, but if you walk a little bit. Ooh, look at that. I will take this gladly. Hello, you. Who is this? This is Nina. Hello, shiny. You look you look like you are well. Yes, I'm very well. Okay. Uh, I'll take that as well. Oh, look, it's Cody. See? The characters are all the same from A Wonderful Life. They totally are. I'll grab that. Um, so, crossing this bridge, I'm sure you already know. But it does. In fact, okay, I'll go this way first. If you go around this way, this will actually take you to the Harvest Sprite area. Oh, look, it's Lumina. Oh, Shiny, what are you doing in a place like this? Is some, something wrong? Okay, I totally botched that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this will take me over here to... Oh, look at you. It is Dr. Hardy. Pretty nice. I will take this. You do have limited space in your bag, by the way. Unlike A Wonderful Life. That was, like, the only unrealistic thing of A Wonderful Life. Like, in the whole game. That you could literally have, like, infinite storage. It's crazy. Okay, nothing there. Lots of flowers and stuff. That's pretty good. Flowers, herbs. A bunch of really good stuff to be selling eventually. But as you can see, they do stack in this game. Which is really convenient because you want as much space as possible. There's some Harvest Moon games out there where you don't have that much space. You really don't. And you have to be smart about how you conserve space. Here's Celia. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I do look like I'm full of energy, you know? Okay, but yeah, here's the Harvest Sprite uh, building area thing. Hello, you. I feel like drinking a relaxing cup of tea. Ah, it's no good, it's no good. Carrying on in this way will interfere with our work. Not even a single Harvest Sprite has returned, so we can't help you. Wow. Well, okay then. Yeah, so... Again, the point is to return to Harvest Sprites. Uh, basically, it's... Um, they're divided into eight sections or something? I don't know. Wait, no, no, that's no, that's not it. That's not it, sorry. That's the freaking channel. Shut up. Um, where's the... No, that's not it. How do I find the... Sorry, I'm experimenting here. Well, that's the town. You can actually see at the bottom screen. Yeah. Um... Information there. Maybe, do I get that later? Oh, that's funny. No, there, there's literally a way that you can... Yeah, maybe that's later, I don't know. Or I'll, I'll mess around with it. There's a way that you can see what Harvest Sprite's in what category, but that's it's not this one, right? It can't be that one. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have the map. Okay. So... I'm gonna go back now. It's already 4.30. Oh my god, I haven't done shit, man. I mean, luckily I forged a decent amount. But, uh... Yeah, time moves a lot faster in this game as opposed to Wonderful Life. Okay, so... Now, this layout is a little bit different, as you can see. Because in a Wonderful Life, these, um... Takakura's like there. It's Gallon. Gallen, Takakura, that was Casey. This is Patrick right here, who I'm gonna run into. And that's Marlin, I think. Damn. We're meeting like a bunch of people. As I was saying, in A Wonderful Life, these buildings are actually, they have them, the doors on the other side. Or like this one is facing here like that, and then this one is over here. But they made it more convenient in this game, I guess. Oh shit, it's locked. So if you come over here, this takes you to, um, Mineral Town. Which, if you try to do it... I made it back! Thanks for being- yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay. So, let me come over here now. See, that's not how you do it. How do you... How do you bring up that stupid menu, man? Oh, look, it's Chris. Maybe I'm on something and you don't actually have this feature available. 
Wait, it's gotta be here. Hold on, hold on. I just found a different menu. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Wait, is that it? Well, I mean, those are the harvest sprites that I have so far, but... There was more to it than that. Hmm. Anyway. Um, let's... Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Wait, actually, no, I'm not. Um... The thing is, it's kind of late. So there's not much I can really... You know what? I'm gonna go to bed. I know that there wasn't really that much that I did. To be fair, though, it is only day one. It is only day one. Okay? So, you gotta bear with me a little bit here. Okay, what are you doing? Get out of my place, man. This is Murray, the guy that freaking eats a bunch of food that's everywhere. Wait, that's not even my... I went on the wrong way. I'm an idiot, dude. It's this way. Okay, it's right here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is... Water. This might be stupid. I might, I might be literally a dumbass right now, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's do that. Let's grab the watering can. Like that. And water all these squares. Please, for the love of God, have enough stamina to do this. Oh my gosh. One more, one more. Yes! Okay, I'm not gonna fill it up right now. That's actually I'm gonna fill it up right now. Okay. Alright. Um let's go to bed. Ready for bed? Yes. Alright, that's right. Eat my eat my donuts. Eat my daily donuts. Read book. What does it say? This shows basically everything here. But as you can see, some of these are not actually in um in here in Forget Me Not Valley. They're actually in Mineral Town. Uh, but I'll get into that in a little bit. That's just festivals and stuff. Uh, there's not actually much that I can do here. The thing that's really tripping me out though is this, because I thought there was a better way to see the categories, but again, maybe that maybe that comes later. Maybe it does. Okay, let's go ahead and start by watering our crops as always. Yeah, by the way, you can hold it if you want. It doesn't really do anything though. I mean, eventually you can charge up like pretty much any early Harvest Moon game, you know? Alright, there we go. Fill it up. And we're done here in our farm for today. So let's go ahead and uh, explore a little bit more. So... Basically... Um, okay, well I'm gonna grab these stuff here that I can like... You know, just refill in. So I'm gonna come over here. Oh look, it's Van. Yeah, sure. I'll go, eventually. Okay, I'm gonna come down here. As you can see, the DS is no GameCube. It's no GameCube, so there are loading screens going from one place to another. The GameCube had the entire world in essentially one loading screen, which is fantastic. The PS2 version proved that the GameCube is superior in terms of how strong it is, because the PS2 version of Wonderful Life, my god, is that horrendous with the lag and loading times. To the point where it's kind of unplayable sometimes, it's ridiculous. Okay, so... What the hell is this? Construction site. That, as you can see, is essentially the whole world down here in this corner. What the hell is one giant boulder here? The Great Farm King Mark. Who the fuck is Mark? Okay. Here, there's a little farm here. Oh, here's Celia. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is give you. Here, do you like this? I actually don't know what people like and love in this game. I haven't memorized that yet. Here's a... Uh, what's his name? Goose. Yeah, Gustafa. Uh, technically, I'm working. If you count foraging as working, yes. All right, let's come up here. This here, as you can see, was moved a little bit, so the world isn't exactly the same. Normally, you would be able to access this area from before you had further east into Vesta's farm. You would be able to basically cross the bridge and then make a left. 
before Vesta's farm, and this would take you over here to the, like, the digging site place. But in here, they kind of changed it up a little bit, so it's not a perfect representation of Wonderful Life, but it's pretty close, pretty darn close. Okay, that's about it for that. I'm gonna come over here. I think what I'm going to do for today is actually put a bunch of stuff in the shipping bin. So I can just start foraging, you know? I can eventually go over there, but I need to break this freaking thing. Hmm. Okay, nobody's in there. Hey look, it's Carter! Uh... Can I do some digging? Wait, can I? No, not that, dude, you idiot. Don't water the... Oh my god. Here, do that. Did I just get money? I'm at 507. 512. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting money. Okay, this is not good. Um, Money? Can I get something besides money, dude? Like, seriously? Move, or else I'm gonna chop your head off. Move. Okay. Okay, I'm out of here. Screw this place. Alright, I'll try that a little bit later. <laughs> I'll try that later. Hey, look, it's a... Is that a cat? I don't know what that is, but I can't pick it up. Okay. Let's go down now. And then... I'm gonna go west. Okay, so I didn't actually go in here yesterday. And they're both locked. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. There's a scarecrow there. More of those. The greenhouses cannot be entered just like in A Wonderful Life. Right, let's go west. So we have not explored the whole west section. As you can kind of see, uh, well, as, actually as you can easily see, time moves a hell of a lot faster in this game than in, well, actually pretty much any Harvest Moon game except Animal Parade. The time moves a lot faster than A Wonderful Life, because A Wonderful Life is literally second by second on screen. Okay, so here's the inn place. Yeah, that's locked. Um, what about in here? That's the kitchen. Hey look, got some plum boxes, or eggplants. Alright, so I'm actually gonna end it here. So, I know it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere, but um... I actually don't know how much time I'm gonna have. Um, wait, save, diary one, go right. Yeah, because of that major cut, so we'll see. If it's up a little shorter, that's fine. If not, that's fine as well. I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, I will continue in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.